folks, welcome back to another one of our resources. I'm really pleased to be here today to talk all about the area of Des Moines and what's happening in Des Moines and different resources that are out there for seniors to utilize right now in particular, especially as we're all hunkering down and really focused on social isolation and trying to stop the spread of, of COVID-19. So without further ado, I have with me today a, a person that I know you're gonna absolutely enjoy and love. Her name is Gina Graham. She's one of our senior living consultants and just all around an amazing individual. Gina, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So Gina, tell us just a little bit. I know I just briefly brushed over your title and who you are, but tell us a little bit about who you are and your role specifically and how you came to be where you are today. So yes, I, um, I am a senior living consultant here at the Shores in uh, Pleasant Hill, and I've been a team member of the Emanuel communities for the past five and a half years. Um, I love working with our senior population, and it's been a real passion for me. So I started with the Pathways program here in central Iowa, and then when the Shores was purchased by Emanuel in October of 2018, I um, moved over so that I could work directly with families and helping them find their new home, whether it's independent living assisted or memory support. Love that. So you're with the Shores in Pleasant Hill in Des Moines, which is a really lovely community in Des Moines. And you're right, we've, we've really enjoyed bringing that community into the Emanuel family, which was just a few years ago. But since then, I think we've had a lot of fun together as a family in, I guess, as, as a family in, and bringing some more of the Emanuel taste to the Des Moines community. So thinking about this minute that we're in, this moment that we're in, in the midst of everything COVID-19 and social distancing and hunkering down, what are some of the challenges that you're hearing from seniors as you're out and about in the community and talking, you know, maybe just using Zoom, but talking on the phone, and also as you're talking to some of your residents, what are some of their challenges? Well, I think, you know, this is a tough time for, for all of us, but, and, and, and I think everybody you know, as we're hunkering down and staying at home, isolation is obviously one of the hardest things for most of us, especially our seniors who are living alone and even the seniors here in the community who are unable to see their family members. Um, That's a big part of their life. And so um, I think that's one thing, socializing, um, just being together um, has been really, really hard on on a lot of us. So, There are, though, quite a few resources out there, and especially locally in Des Moines and in the Pleasant Hill area where you are specifically located with the Shores, that are really working to support seniors and support the idea of hunkering down at home. So whether you live in the community at large or whether you're one of the residents at the Shores, obviously there's a lot more support and service that are wrapping around our residents right now. But if you're out in the community or you have a family member that's out in the community in the area of Des Moines, what are some of the ways in which businesses are really very positively creating resources or helping seniors, you know, as much as possible thrive during this period while we're trying to hunker down? That's, a, that's great. I mean, I think I see our businesses really stepping up to cater to our senior population. Um, our local fairways and high vs here have uh, opened up senior hours, and also those hours are for those that may be more vulnerable um, to uh, COVID-19, uh, and the hours are between 8 and 9 um, in the morning. And so that's been really helpful um, for our folks because they have a de- designated time that they can go. Um, we have a lot of local restaurants that are supporting our seniors as well. Um, some of them are offering the opportunity for you to order double. So you can order like a meal for yourself and then a meal for your grandparent or a meal for, you know, a friend or a neighbor or a resident and, um, and then bring that to them. So the, the local businesses are trying to offer those kind of things as well. And then we also have a front line. Um, it's like a, it's an email link that has been sponsored by Iowa as well, where you can get on and donate. It's Help Iowa. Um, and there's a link that you can get on Twitter, and if you search it, you can donate meals uh, for your neighbors and your friends and um, really contribute to making sure that everybody's being fed and also seeing people and getting that communication with delivery. So 
I love that, Gina. We will be sure to link to all of those resources you just mentioned. Actually, we'll include them in the tip sheet. So make sure you download the downloadable tip sheet that goes with this particular resource show. And we will also include some links up, um, on the web page that you can just click on and get right through, especially that email address if you want to donate meals for other people, for your neighbors. I, I absolutely love that. It's great to hear that grocery stores are helping out our senior population and creating new shopping hours. You know, I would encourage like if there are other places that you think that you need to go shopping. There are certainly some stores that are just doing nice special things, carving out times for some of the more vulnerable people in this whole COVID-19 situation. So what about delivery options? I know you mentioned um, some of the restaurants that had delivery options, but what is available for folks? Um, what kinds of delivery options do you have in the local Des Moines area? So one of the things that um, we've been utilizing a lot for our residents here, and I know that um, other seniors like in our neighborhood that we know in our community, there is an Instacart option. And um, they have actually, they have such a high demand for delivery that they've hired DoorDash employees who were um, maybe not getting enough work to actually uh, start working for the Hy-Vee Instacart so that delivery could be uh, given to our residents and to our seniors quicker. Because it started taking about two or three days and now they can get same day delivery. So that's really what we have used. And Instacart not, isn't just Hy-Vee, but that's the most utilized um, service that we have, but they also have a lot of other businesses that they can use to get same day delivery. So Instacart, just for folks who may not be familiar with it, could you walk us through broadly how that works exactly? Sure, absolutely. Um, really, it's just the Instacart, you can either download an application on your iPhone or you can go into your computer and then you can search the local businesses that use Instacart. And um, really the Instacart is the, the hired individuals that go and do your shopping for you. So you can go online and choose your items, for an example, on hy -Vee, choose your items that are available, and then um, set your delivery time. And what's beautiful about Instacart is that they communicate with you. So they will contact you and say, um, this toilet paper is out that you requested, but will you be okay with this alternative? And so you can either approve or deny. So there's constant communication. They let you know when they're shopping. They let you know when they're delivering. And they can just drop it off at your door if you don't want to see anyone or say that you're not feeling well and you just want your groceries dropped off. So it's, it's a beautiful system that we use a lot here. So. It's available in Pleasant Hill, because obviously you're using it right there at the shores, and then also available That's throughout correct. the whole Des Moines area? Yes, it is. That's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. In fact, I've been using that uh, pretty frequently. I'm in Omaha, based in Omaha, and I'm using the same thing and have advised all of my family members to please be doing the very same thing. What about um, the some of the special things that you're doing at the shores in particular, how you're wrapping around the residents at the shores? You know, for everybody right now, we're all in this together, really, and it's certainly not the most ideal scenario. We much prefer, I think even the introverts amongst us, prefer to be out and about every once in a while with their friends and seeing them face to face. But, And I'm sure that you have some really special stories because of all the great things that you do, do to help support residents. Would you share a couple of those stories about just new ways that you're seeing um, a manual wrap around at the residents at the shores? Absolutely. We, we at the Shores, we are, uh, we are a family. Um, we're a very social community, um, and we like to be around each other. So uh, it's been a little challenge in that way. So we've had to do a lot of thinking outside of the box, but our residents have loved it. So um, we are delivering meals right to their door, um, and we are doing one of the really fun things. We've got an amazing wellness coordinator and life enrichment coordinator, and I've even been helping. We've been going outside of the community right by the lake there and doing exercises, timed exercises around the building. And our residents open up their windows and we do the exercises together. Um, we, do, we did a costume race around the building with the employees and they voted on us. So we've been having a lot of fun. We're providing um, games and activities for residents. We have ice cream and snack time in the afternoon. Um, you know, residents can leave their, their apartments, um, but 
we want to do that social distancing. So we're allowing, you know, and providing new and creative ways to keep them busy and keep them happy. Um, and they're just having a blast. I love that. You know, it's so nice. We, we started the show talking a little bit about social distancing. And of course, the big thing that Emmanuel's been so incredibly passionate about is the fact that it's so easy to be lonely in your home, isolated in your home. I mean, right now, obviously, we're all being asked to stay home and be isolated. But the Shores, even though our residents are largely in their apartment homes at the Shores, it sounds like you're doing all sorts of really fun way, fun things to keep folks engaged. Absolutely, absolutely. It, we're just, and we're having a lot of fun at it too. It's, you know, it's a fun way to adapt to what the new normal is for now. And, um, you know, we our team does an amazing job of adapting and thinking outside of the box, so that our residents still feel like they're um, getting social, getting exercise, and and still, you know, feeling comfortable in their own home. So for folks out there who are, I mean, you know, right now we're all just trying to survive, hunker down and, and get through this and thrive, have a little bit of fun, have moments of fun, maybe have, I, I doubt that anytime soon anyone will forget this. I mean, there's a lot of things going on, a lot of really great inspira inspirational stories, like exactly what you're doing at the shores. But for folks out there that are wondering, you know, when this is all over or it's a little bit safer to maybe move, maybe considering the idea of retirement living, can you share with us just a little bit about what the Shores is specifically? I know we mentioned it at the top of the show, but I'd love to share a little bit more about what is the Shores, what, what you offer just generally from a support perspective, and then how families and people can get in touch with you. What's the best way? So the Shores is a beautiful community in Pleasant Hill right on Copper Creek Lake. We offer independent living, assisted living, and memory support options. And so residents, they are, meals are provided, um, all utilities are provided, cable, and any services they need. If they need assisted living, their medical services are provided as needed. And then again, like I said, the memory support is for our folks with uh, dementia and Alzheimer's, and it's a very geared towards each individual person. And it's a, a secure, happy environment that we have here. So it's, it's a wonderful community. Like I said, it's very social. We have a lot of options here and we have a lot of fun. And so you can just reach out to me. You can call the 515-262-4444 number. You can always also go on our website, our manual communities website, and uh, the shores is listed there as well. Yeah, Gina, that's fantastic. I really appreciate you sharing some of these great resources that are available for seniors all over, all throughout the Des Moines area. And I love the idea of just having everything delivered to your house right now so you don't have to risk leaving. Of course, it's nice to get out and walk around the sidewalk, but you don't have to risk necessarily going to the, going to the store with other folks and getting exposed to everything or you know some exercising the use of some of the special senior only hours that are available at local businesses it's it's great to hear there's so much fabulous support for our seniors out there in the Des Moines area absolutely so folks if you want any further information of course you can click on the links that are all included here on the resource page we've got all those for you we've got the downloadable tip sheet make sure make sure that if you don't know how to use instacart or you don't know how to use um, some of these other resources are, they're a little bit daunting to, you know, reach out to a family member or Gina's always available. She just shared the phone number with you. And, you know, Emmanuel is all about supporting our seniors. So if you have any questions about some of the resources that Gina shared with you, I'm guessing Gina, you'd be happy to help folks out with that. I always am. Yes, absolutely. Give me a call. Well, everyone, that is it for this resource video. Really appreciate everybody tuning in again, joining us again. Be sure to keep checking back. We, we're going to keep adding these as we go along. And we hope that you are not just surviving, that you're finding ways to thrive at home. That's it for this one. We'll, we'll be back with you again shortly. Gina, thanks so much for, again for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.